I have such a fantastic chocolate mousse recipe for you. And the thing about it is everything goes in the food processor, it's blitzed and then popped in the fridge. It's so good. And it's all based on ricotta and creme fraiche. Now I've got two cups of ricotta here. You can see how dry my ricotta is. Use a really good quality ricotta for this. If it's that really wet ricotta, it's not going to work. So a nice, full fat, creamy ricotta just like this. If it is a little bit too wet, you can still use it, but you'll need to drain it overnight in some muslin cloth or a chucks. So once that's in, I'm going to add two tablespoons of creme fraiche. Now this is just going to help it become really smooth and glossy. Now for some sweetness, icing sugar, two tablespoons of icing sugar, or you can add a little bit more if you want it extra sweet. And now for some vanilla, I've just got one vanilla bean and I like to use fresh vanilla for this, so cut it straight down the centre and just scrape all those little speckles, the little seeds in there that have got so much flavour. Now for some extra flavour, some orange zest, chocolate and orange, match made in heaven. So I'm going to zest about half of this orange. You don't want it to be too overpowering because it is a chocolate mousse. So just a small amount, perfect. And at this stage, I'm going to blitz until this is really, really creamy, not grainy. So once it's smooth, I'm going to add some chocolate and I've melted some dark chocolate here and brought it to room temperature. You don't want it to be too hot. You want everything to be the same temperature for this to work perfectly. This is looking really good. See how smooth this is? Absolutely perfect. Now we can add our chocolate. So melt chocolate first. And oh, this is my favorite part. Just drizzling all that chocolate in with the ricotta mixture. Perfect. And now for some cacao powder. This has got a lovely bitterness and really is going to accentuate the chocolate flavor. So two tablespoons of that in and I'm also going to add a little bit later to dust the top. So lid again goes on and we're going to blitz until it's really nicely combined. This is looking luscious, silky smooth. You know the best thing about this? It is ready to eat now. The consistency is correct. Now, if you wanted to chill it or you're having this for a dinner party, you can definitely do it earlier and put them in the fridge. I mean, even better when they're really, really cold. And instead of spooning it straight into the glasses, I'm using a piping bag. This just makes it really neat. So scoop all of that mixture just between your fingers like this. This is just the easiest way when you're piping. Just have a look at that. That is just perfect. I love this recipe. So one more spoonful here. And we just push that down. And I'm serving it in glasses today, but if you wanted to just put this in one big earthenware dish and then garnish it on top, that could also work. I'm going to cut this bag and just push down this mousse. And then I'm gonna start over here and just pipe the mixture straight into the glass. You can see how neat and tidy it is with a piping bag. Now this is a perfect amount for four nice even portions here. Just get that last little bit out. Perfect. And I'm going to garnish it now with a little bit more of that cacao powder. And the difference between cacao powder and cocoa powder is that cacao powder is raw cold pressed cocoa beans and cocoa powder is the roasted cocoa beans. So this has got a bit more of a bitter flavour. Oh, and doesn't that look fantastic to finish off? And now you can add some berries if you like. I'm going to add some macadamia nuts that have been roasted. So good amount of those on top. And just to accentuate that orange flavour, some orange segments that I'm just going to garnish the top. Not too many, just a few because it looks so good. And again, it's the freshness of that orange that I'm looking for against the richness of that chocolate. <sighs> These are the best. I'm gonna dig in straight away because the consistency is perfect and the rest can go into the fridge for my snack a little bit later. Mm, 
so good. <laughs> Love it.